Hi friends, today let's dive into The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games is a dystopian series set in an unknown future in the remnants of North America. There it is. A lot of fans have tried to figure out when exactly this series is set and therefore how far in the future it supposedly is. So it's about time we answered this question. We know from Katniss that this series takes place long after a major world war where the populations that existed almost wiped out the entire human race. Then what? There would have been nobody left to claim victory. She also explains that these former populations created a lot of climate problems, especially rising sea levels. We see this with the map of Panem. As mentioned earlier, Panem is located on what used to be North America, and if you look at the borders, they're extremely different. For example, states like Florida and North America no longer exist in Panem due to rising sea levels. This information tells us that the story is set in more than 10 years time, for example, especially when you consider that Panem has been around for more than 75 years. The Dark Days is a revolution that happened 75 years before these books are set. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the 75th year of the Hunger Games. At this point, Panem had already existed for an unknown amount of time. It's been long enough, however, that information from our civilizations has been seen as unimportant and is therefore no longer taught in schools. As mentioned earlier, Katniss knows that Panem lies on what used to be called North America, and she also knows that District 12 is in a place that was once called the Rockies. However, the Latin language, which for us is still taught in many schools, is completely non-existent for Katniss. So at minimum, it's probably been at least a few hundred years between present day and when these books are set. But can it be thousands of years? This is unlikely, as the humans that we see in the series look very similar to humans nowadays. I don't feel amazing. Don't you know how beautiful you look? No, and I don't know how to make people like me. How do you make people like you? Well, you made me like you. That's different. I wasn't trying. We know that evolution occurs over several hundred and sometimes even several thousands of years, yet none of these humans look any different to us. So this series is likely set between a few hundred years in the future and probably a thousand or so years in the future. But is it possible to narrow this down even more? I think the more important question at this point though is, do we need to know when this series is set? A lot of dystopian novels are written as a warning to the modern society who is reading them. However, when these novels are set in a specific year, people stop seeing them as a warning, they become just another story. This is especially true once that year is passed. Look at the novel 1984, which was written in 1949 and set in, you guessed it, 1984. Once a year 1984 was passed, people no longer read this book in the same way. It became just another story, and it lost a lot of the morals and the importance this story held. Of course, we're fickle, stupid beings with poor memories and a great gift for self-destruction. The Hunger Games is the same thing. This series is a huge warning to society, especially with the blurring of the lines between right and wrong and where humanity is headed. Not just with climate change, though that's a huge problem, but also how we see each other and how we treat other people. That's why I killed Kato. And he killed Thresh. And Thresh killed Chloe. It just goes around and around. If The Hunger Games was set in a specific year, it would lose a lot of this importance, and especially as The Hunger Games are aimed towards young adults, it's extremely important that it stays a moral story. The young adults who read these stories now are the future politicians and world leaders, and they need to learn these lessons before it's too late. Although who knows, maybe this time we'll learn. Do you agree? Do you also think the series will stay more powerful without a timestamp? Please tell me in the comment section down below. And until next time, happy bubbles! If you want to see any of my other Hunger Games videos, you can click on the box on the left to find out why the game makers are so boring, or you can click on the box on the right to find out what happened to the final symbolic Hunger Games. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos.